Thinking, I was thinking about gravity. Gravity is what made that ball go down. And if we were up in space, like in the uh, space station or uh, in, a, in a spacecraft up there, and there's no gravity, and there was guys juggling up there, would it still be juggling? Yeah. No. No. All right, let's see, let's see. Raise your hand if you think it was would be juggling. Yeah, okay, without gravity, without gravity, who thinks it's not juggling? Looky here, looky here. So we discovered through uh, common sense what juggling is all about. Well, this would be kind of like upright juggling. And um, I was just wondering if you guys wanted to see maybe four juggles. I had three here. How about four? Okay. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. There's two. Yep, and there's two more. Okay, and what's two and two? Okay, so I juggled four, right? <laughs> yeah. No? Yeah. And what would be really juggling four all together, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> all, right, yeah. Yeah. all right, here's something a little bit different that I wanted to share with you guys, too. I'm going to turn juggling all the way upside down. Thank you very much. It was that green one again that got me. Oh. Renani, you were the guy that got me. Hey, are you teasing me? Thank you. It must have been Fernanda, right? Okay. Let me try that again. See, this green one right here hasn't been juggling very long. It's a little green at juggling and kind of, wants, kind of wants to get away a little bit. We saw it bounce off the wall over there. Still 
guys are doing great. Oh, that's that's around, that's around. That's around. That's around. Mr. Houdini here, um, a little bit more. He was a, a magician, right? What does that mean? He does magic, that's right. And it turns out that Mr. Houdini kept a lot of records about what all the magicians did in that time. It turns out that he also kept records of jugglers and what they did. And jugglers like to juggle clubs, and sometimes they get together and they do a lot of things together on stage. But it gets complicated because they all have to know what they're doing and pass some clubs and all that. It's kind of like it's choreographed. Well, it turns out Mr. Houdini had a record of the first person that did that. And this person's name happened to be the given name that I have, John Whitfield. And I just couldn't believe that a guy that has a name the same as me is so back far in history. My parents didn't know anything about it, so I guess I could say I'm a juggler ahead of my time. <laughs> and this kind of juggling here goes back a number of thousands of years, almost to the time of those Egyptian tombs. And uh, what we have here is uh, the beginning of the yo-yo. This is kind of like the grandfather of the yo-yo. In fact, it's called Chinese yo-yo sometimes. And uh, people made these, and they're made, this one's made out of bamboo here, with the wood spindle in the middle, and this whistles really, really loud. The air goes in this big hole here. You notice there's not one here, but it's on the other side. The wind goes through, and it whistles really, really loud. But you know what? These have to be balanced really, really closely, because if one side weighs more than the other, it'll start turning like this. And we don't want that to happen. So what I had to do is I had to weigh both sides of this particular one, the Chinese call it the Kongzu, and I, you know, like I said, I weighed these uh, to find out if they were both the same weight, and I found out that um, one was a little different. You can tell this is real, genuine, authentic, because it says so right here. It says made in China. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, yeah, I can read it. Uh, thanks, Francisco. Okay, and what do you see there? What's glued onto the end? A penny. Oh, look again there. Yeah, you got it right. Because this side was just a quarter off balance. Does that make sense? How much? 25 cents. Yeah. Hey, uh, I just wanted to uh, get my two bits in before I got started. Here. I'm so sorry. Did I string too many puns together? That was the last one for me. Okay. 
Okay, can you hear it? Whistle yet? No? no? Okay, we'll, we'll speed it up for you then. string off, okay? Yep, that's the quick way. Ha, ha, ha. 